Hello, this is Dare Tabbers, and this is your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight here in beautiful Long Castle. Today we have two mods. Um, they don't actually relate to each other. Well, they sort of relate to each other. Um, so the first one is not that. It is, if we go over to our harvesters, People have been asking me to do something smaller than these giant harvesters, so I found a Class Avro 160 for $80,000. Let's buy it. I did notice... Did that come with it? No, that comes with that. Hmm. Um, so apparently... Do, I, uh, let's, let's just buy a, this 6.7 meter head just to see. Alright, let's check this guy out. So it is definitely a smaller harvester for your smaller farms. This doesn't look bad. Uh, we have any clipping? Wow, we don't even... Well, we have a little bit of um, extra space at the back here, but that's not a big deal. Wow, one of the better ones for lack of clip. Overall, it doesn't look like a bad tractor. It's not monolithic. It doesn't look terrible. Alright, let's jump inside. We can get inside. Not a lot going on in here. Let's start the engine. There we go, engine's on. Okay. So, there's not a lot in the way of keys, apparently. Alright, let's close that up. Alright, so we'll press our buttons. One, oh, we get blinkers. Four, five, and six. Don't appear to do anything. That tree's annoying. Seven, eight. Ah, eight opens up. Oh, look, it's a little TP. TP. No TP. TP. No TP. Um, and nine. Doesn't really do anything. Beacons. Yeah, we got beacons. Lights. We got lights. Good. Swing out on that arm. Cool, cool. All right, definitely a smaller, uh, smaller harvester here. Back them up and see if we can pick up the uh, six point seven meter head on this. Ugh. I'm gonna have to push the head or clip over it. That works too. Whatever. Oh my goodness. Come on. There. Alright, so it's kind of weird with the red and the green, but whatever. So we got a smaller harvester. Whoa. Turns around like a shot. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, well, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Top speed! Stop speed run! Dun 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 dun! dun. 16. 17. Okay, that. That sounds okay. All right, let's. Um, I'm gonna put them on this field really quick. But all right, um, open up our little our little top. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Um, and I'm going to need a trailer for piping. We'll we'll get that in a minute. All right, so let's get this guy over here. Hire the worker. All right, there he goes. Um, looks to be operating just fine. We got straw coming out the back. We can hit M to switch it to chopped if we want. And I think we can up the speed just slightly if we feel like it. There we go. That was a nice small little harvest. Small is right, look at that. We're at 33% fill already. Holy cow. I think I need to get a tractor. You're not a tractor. Um, you are not a good tractor. You are fine. No. No. Uh, this one will work. Where is a trailer now? Uh, you know what? We're going to have to just go back here and <laughs> let's buy... Um, let's buy... Shoot, I don't know. Let's... Where's that 
Where's that old timey? There's the old days Schluter. And we're going to go into the non mods and get a tipper. Mm. That, that tipper will do. Okay. Let's get those and go. Uh, he's already almost full. 4,200 liters of wheat is what he holds. Let's get this guy going. I'm going to use this tractor. Well, technically it's a mod tractor, so... I'm going to use it mainly because it's closer. It's <laughs> uh, really the only reason I got right now. Okay, let's go make sure he pipes out. So we don't want a repeat of our disaster la uh, of uh, the John Deere's. Okay, and then we'll work. At, then we'll look at the other mod that we have for today. Ooh, this is going to be kind of close to that head. Oh well, should be a really good driver, maybe. Hmm, this is wheat, so it shouldn't. Yep. Uh oh, where's the trigger point? What? We might need a smaller head on this thing. <laughs> Jeez. Trigger points are random. No, they're not random. I'm just not hitting them. There. Oh, we had it for a second. Really? Yeah, I'm thinking that that head is a little bit too big. Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm about to uh, make an executive decision here. There. Can you... What? Really? What is going on? Okay, we're definitely... You cannot tell me that I am not over that pipe. Uh, this could be a problem. Look, you can see the green in there. Oop, there. Oh, that's kind of cute. Alright, so let's get rid of the hired worker. Alright. Move pipe over the trailer. It is over the trailer. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna go over here. Get rid of that. Okay. Now, that was a 6.7 meter head. We'll look at getting a smaller head, maybe? Okay, what is your problem with piping? That pipe is over the trailer. What the heck? I don't have a I don't have a modded crop in here. It's standard old wheat. What? Wait a minute, come on. Really? Is that the trigger point? That can't be right. Hold on. Hold the peanut butter phone. Um you. Alright, we're going to try something a little bit different. <laughs> By a little bit different, it, I just mean I'm going to try something different. Okay, we're going to go get another trailer. Maybe it didn't like that trailer. I don't know why it wouldn't like that trailer. It's an in-game trailer. It should have no problem with it. Alright, we're going to get a... Crown. <laughs> Might as well just go with the cheapest, smallest, littlest trailer we got. Okay. Come on, come on. There we go. Alright, let's go accelerate. That tree is annoying. I need a chainsaw. <laughs> okay. Now. This cannot be this difficult. Here, I am directly under the center of that thing. Oop, back up. Ah ha ha. So that trailer did not like that trailer. Why didn't you like that trailer? I don't know why I wouldn't like that trailer. Weirdness. Okay, hold on. Let's. Oop, my mouse ran away again. There we go. Come here, you. Okay. 
The camera you get in, it's way too close in my opinion, but it's just my opinion. Uh, get that. Backing up. We're gonna put him to work and make sure that he pipes out appropriately. Now that we figured out that it didn't like that trailer, which is for whatever reason it didn't like that trailer. All right, on the shooter now. Let him run by. Pick him up on the flip side. A nice little harvester for people who need the little harvester. I'm still having problems understanding why it wasn't working with that one trailer, but... Wow. <laughs> yeah, I basically have to get all up in his Kool-Aid. But he does pipe out. So that's good. Excellent. Yeah, that works. Nice. Okay, that's enough of that. Turn that guy off. Uh, one, two, three, four. Where? There we go. Okay. Let's get our other mod. Why are you wandering across my field? Stop it. All right, let's get our other mod. We have two large case um, combines that are sitting a ways away from everything because of reasons. So, I got the Gold Huffer STZ. $112,500. $15 a day. Bye. Trailer. All right, so we have our big gold hoffer here. It hoffs and golds or something like that. Look at all those wheels. Lots of wheels. We got beacons in the back. This looks like it's a big monster. So I brought the uh, man truck over here for that reason. And it even has beacons on the roof, so we can have lots of beacons. All right, let's... Go, and hopefully it actually hooks up properly. Come on. Yeah! Alright, we got ourselves hooked up. Let's go pick ourselves up a case harvester. The one that's empty, not the one that's full of sunflowers. <laughs> I still haven't I, I still haven't got that one sorted out yet. Alright, let's roll. We got guff all over our farm again, but, you know, you guys should be used to that by now. <laughs> farm guff. Um, I think he's over here. There he is. Come rolling through the fields. I'm going to just go over here for reasons. Stop. All right. So we have a bunch of buttons here. M is Rampen as Ausklappen. And the other one is Rampen nach Oben Scheiben. Wow. I have no idea what that means. And the other one is Ver... 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 Einklappen. I'm going to press the key 5 first. What does that do? Key 5. Oh! Oh, look at that! You can take the wood off. I don't know why I would do that, but... How do I put it back on now? I don't know... Do I have to... Um... T6? Ah! Wait a minute, what's 6 doing? Ah, yeah, six puts the wood back on, so we can make our trailer just a little bit wider to high handle the wide load. So five and six are for that. Okay, cool. Um, let's make sure our beacons work. Yeah, look at the beacons. All right, M and J. So M, M. Okay, what's J do then? Presumably, oh, okay, so K and N. Okay, so J moves the ramps out, and N moves them in, and M puts the ramps down, and K puts them back up. Well, that's kind of cool. All right. All right, we have a wider load, so we're going to do that. Is that, is that down? Is that down? It looks down. Are we down? We down. 
We down with that. Okay, let's get in here. Turn off that. Was that? Okay, there we go. Nope, no, no. Close that. <laughs> Jeez. There. Fold the corn header up. And here we go. We're going to try to load this thing up with this giant Hi, big boy kit. Hmm. That's suboptimal right there. All right, maybe the, this is just a little bit too big of a of a harvester here. Hmm. But harvesters are kind of like the slow boys of this, and it's really you know, really really nice to be able to haul one. Uh, Okay, that is not going to work, but if I do this... God, this thing is so floppy. Let's go like that. That kind of lines up, yes. Oh, 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 that didn't work. Okay, get off. All right. That didn't really work the way we had hoped. Hmm. All right, let's leave that then. Yeah, it was out all the way. Huh. So that is a little bit too big of a harvester then. Nope, not KM. Um, NK. Here we go. All right, so that harvester was a little bit too big. Um, I, I'm presuming, I mean, it's wide enough that any tractor is going to fit on here. Um, let's go... Hmm. Well, that's kind of a bummer, because I would think it would be really great for harvest for hauling harvester. Ooh, sugar beet harvester. Let's, let's buy a sugar beet harvester. Um, let's get rid of our hired worker really quick as well, because I don't really, really care about this class right now. And then I will get a sugar beet harvester, because those things are just monstrously slow. Here we go, get rid of you, turn that off. And then we can get out. Uh, let's buy ourselves. A... Potato harvester. Okay, we have a half million dollar piece of equipment. Let's get in our truck here. And uh, let's go see if our hundred and thirteen thousand dollar trailer can pick up our half million dollar piece of equipment. If it can't, well that's gonna be kind of bad. <laughs> Alright, let's pull well ahead so I don't have to deal with any problems. Stop. Um J K and M. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's well articulated, I'll tell you that much. Okay, it's all the way down. Truck is running, so it shouldn't wander away. Let's run over here, grab this guy, put him on here, and make sure he works. Ah, stupid tree. Here we go. I have some questions about how this back wheel is going to get up here, but... Alright, what do we think? Looks... It's hard to... It's hard to judge with all that equipment on the front of this thing. But here we go. Oh, that... I kind of knew it was going to happen. Alright, back off, back off, back off. Get off of there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, good. Too wide. We need to make that narrower by hitting K no N. There. Right? Yeah. All right. So now that's nice and narrow. We should be able to get the rear wheel of the harvester up. In fact, we're going to try to reverse it up because then we know that we have a problem right away. Reversing. This vehicle is reversing. 
Uh, go forward. I mean, it looks like the trailer is uh, well modeled. It's got all kinds of extras on it. The problem right now is the big pieces of equipment I would prefer to use it on. Look. I mean, really? All right, so let's try something else. Can I? Oh, I can. So that's really what you have to do. All right. Wow. Come on, back up. So I have to aim for this so I can get it up there. And then I have to get off of that. Oh, man. Take some serious skill. But we've sort of done it. Come on, back up. All right. So now, turn the engine off. Hop out. Okay, now we're going to press K, bring our ramps up, there we go, ramp is up, turn on the beacons. Now there is no lock button, so I'm going to take this slow initially. Okay, that's way too slow, and, well, yeah. All right, here we go. Get some, a little bit of speed as we're, we're leaving the uh, yard here. There, there we go, open sesame. Thank you, sesame. All right, pulling out onto the road. Give it the beans. Seems well settled on the trailer. No, no craziness going on. All right, we can make a, a nice. We can hit this car. <laughs> I didn't hit the car. Yay! All right. So the the gold hoffler tie flander, I think, is what it is. Uh, this trailer. I, I mean, yeah, we can. This is probably the first trailer that really. It doesn't look derp to have this big grim harvester on here. The one thing that kind of makes me sad is the big class harvester. Or, I'm sorry, the big case harvester, which also means a big class harvester, which also means a big New Holland harvester, which probably also means the big cat harvester will not fit on here because the width of the trailer. So that is still a problem. But this is a good trailer if you're looking for a... Um, shut that off. If you're looking for a, um, a transport trailer to transport your big pieces of equipment, this is certainly a nice trailer. Um, yeah, definitely worthwhile. You can also put bales on it, I, I believe. I hope. <laughs> the little cloths, one... 60 Avro. It's a smaller harvester. It has a relatively modest 4200 liter capacity to it. Did not come, at least when I installed it, it did not come with a head. Now it might have a head, but it's conflicting with other heads that I already have in the game. Um, but it's a smaller harvester. Great for for uh, smaller fields. About 6.7 meters is about the max head you'd want on here because this is really kind of, I was really in the bubble of this head to unload it. Probably a six meter or under head. So it would probably work with, well, it would definitely work with that. So the, the, the Dutes 5465H cutter would work with, that's too big. So you're getting too big at the 6095. So really this header here, um, corn head. That corn head is too wide, so you'd have you'd need a smaller corn head. But if you're looking for a uh, a smaller class harvester, this one doesn't seem too bad. There's nothing glaringly wrong with it in terms of modeling or behaviors or anything like that. It has an appropriate top speed, and and the various things work. It doesn't have all the extra goodies of the big class Lexion, but there you go. So there we go. We have a, a small class harvester and a trailer for transporting your goodies. So until next time, it's been Derek Tebbers with your Farming Simulator 2013 Mod Spotlight here in beautiful Long Castle. <laughs>